Welcome back to my journey to Mount Whitney. I am Anthony and today I'm going to show you a very important part of my journey to Mount Whitney and that is getting the permit to do the hike. So today we're going to hop on my computer and I'm going to show you how you can get your permit. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to recreation.gov and from here, if you have not already, you will sign up for an account. I already have my account here, but you always want to have an account so then when you do apply for your lottery, uh, they can send you the email. So. That's the first thing you want to do is register for an account up in that corner. Next, you want to look for Mount Whitney. It's right there. Click that. And here is the Mount Whitney homepage. And if you want to know anything about Mount Whitney, this is the best site to go to. They have all you need to know about with the history about Mount Whitney. Uh, some fun facts such as the trail gained 6,200 feet of elevation. You start at 8,300 feet at Whitney Portal. Uh, gives you all the need to knows, fees and cancellations, how to get there, contacts, all that. And if you go on further, it'll give you permit information and in what's and during the season. Also gives you uh, see that gives you the one day only information and the overnight. I'm doing the one day. And if you go down further here, it gives you important dates, uh, such as February 1st to March 15th. That's when the lottery is open to apply for a permit. March 24th is when you will get your results. And there's some other information here. Uh, April 1st, you can try to get for some remaining dates and uh, etc. Go down further. More information. It's very easily, uh, it's, a good, it's a good website to navigate. There's all kinds of good information here. Uh, go to the bottom, you got some pictures, the gallery. But anyways, let's go back to the top. And over here in this right corner here, that's where you're going to apply for your your permit when lottery season opens. So it's full now. Let's take a look. I just want to show, give you an example. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to do uh, our route because I'm doing one day. Mm, I got one. And then and it'll show you here there's nothing available. June's booked, July's booked, August is booked, September, October, everything is booked throughout the year. So you're not going to be able to get your permit online at this point. Anyways, so let's just do a in let's just do a mock let's do a walkthrough here. See right here, see which permit do you need? So we're gonna, let's begin. Uh, we started from the Inyo National Forest, yes. Do I need a guide? No. Will you be starting at visiting or ending at Mount Whitney? Yes. Does your entire hike only last for one day? Yes, that's what I'm doing. Are you beyond the first lake? Yes. So I will need a day use. So then that, if this was during the lottery season, you'd go on further, you'd find the date. My date is July 10th. And check availability. And let's see, is this a commercial guided trip? No. And as you see, there's nothing available. Everything's full. Okay, like I said, group size, the max is 15. So if you're the group leader, it is up to you to uh, try to get everybody's registration in. One person per group. 
and uh, like I said, maximum of 15 people. In my opinion, I think the lower the people in your group, the better chance you're gonna have of getting the lottery. So I'm gonna show you some inf very interesting information here. Lottery information right there on the right side. This is under additional information. This has so much good stuff right here. For example, it shows you all what you need to do to, to, uh, to train for it, the terms of the lottery, uh, three things you need to know. Let me get down further here. And then, here's a good one here. What are your chances of getting the lottery? So let's just take a look at these results from 2019. 2019, looks like only 34% of the people that applied were successful. So that's about a one in three chance. So that's what you're facing when you're applying for the lottery. And I got very lucky because I got it the very first time. So how do you, what is the process after you pick the date you want? So what you do is you could, <clears throat> let me get out of here. So you could pick one date and then an, an, I believe an additional 14 uh, secondary dates. I got my first date, which I was very happy about. And so we're going to go into my emails here. So on February 1st is when I applied. And it, it's going to cost you $6 just to, just to get into the lottery. And this is not cooperating for me. Go down. One permit, six dollars reservation fee, and then once you, and then on March twenty fourth is when they'll send you the results. And as you see, congratulations! Wanted to let you know the lottery drawing recently took place, and you've been awarded a permit reservation at Mount Mini on Friday, July tenth. So then the next step is you have to actually pay for it, pay for your reservation confirmation. And that is $15. So just because you get the lottery doesn't mean you automatically get it. You have to actually pay afterwards. And then once you pay for it, the next step is to, of course, train for it. And then a day or two before your trip, you have to go to the uh, Mount Whitney Visitor Center in uh, Lone Pine and that's where you pick up your permit and if you go onto this website it'll show all the information on what you need to do how to do it where to do it it is great so I don't see any problem in anybody having a hard time because the instructions are so detailed so there you go uh, the website's pretty easy to navigate uh, the lottery information and instructions are right there. There's not, there's no confusion about it. Uh, I hope this video helped you a little bit. Um, I'm definitely very excited about this hike. I think I have about less than a month to go. Um, I'm honored that you're following me and that you're witnessing this journey and coming along with me. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these videos. Maybe if there's some advice you can give me, I appreciate any advice I can be given. Uh, like I said, I'm a novice hiker, so your advice is much appreciated. Okay, please uh, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel so you can keep on following me and you don't miss anything. And uh, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.